penelitian Landius ya, Kulit Kota Asdam, uh, yang kemudian uh, mengajak juga keterlibatan dari rekan-rekan uh, institusi di Filipina di Indonesia. Ini tujuannya memang ini sedang di tengah perjalanan, kajian mereka sedang berjalan, ini progresnya, hasil-hasil penting ingin disampaikan. Reading these studies and looking at the studies uh, in the project which will be discussed today, there's a lot that we can learn about the ways in which land deals are conducted and their implications for rural communities. Of course, there are still important gaps and weak spots. Uh, the gender aspect and implications is one uh, weak spot so far, and I hope that our project will make some uh, contribution on that. But in general, Case after case confirms that land investments in many cases forcibly displace large numbers of people. They ignore the proper procedures for acquiring land. They do not fulfill their promise of employment creation and infrastructure provision for local people. They are environmentally destructive and they disadvantage women. Of course there are some exceptions. Uh, words of caution are also emerging. The estimates of the areas of land that are subject to these deals in recent years has been exaggerated. Not all land deals are bad for local people. Local people sometimes can benefit from links with agribusiness. There are winners as well as losers and so on. And some of the papers and discussions today will, will uh, express these portions. So I, I thought that all the uh, participants here had very interesting uh, contributions. To start with uh, the two last uh, ones, I think these were examples of meticulous research, of uh, mapping in detail what is going on in terms of uh, the uh, permits to use land for business and in terms of land conversions, which then offer a much uh, uh, say stronger basis for seeing what the problems are, uh, also to inform policy. And the discussion was interesting because it also showed that there are different ways of interpreting these facts. Is it actually a problem or not? How should you view these? So the discussion, I think, also added very much uh, to, uh, to the presentations themselves. Then the, uh, the three first ones, two much more advocacy-oriented than, uh, than the first one by uh, Dr. Dalgantis. Um, they, they were especially interesting because you, you had the presentation by Billy de la Rosa eco-regional level, and then Afri, which is a local NGO connected to eco. So you see these, you see how this network operates. Also, I think out of this session, although the case studies are very different, they are coherent. You see certain similar mechanisms uh, arising in different places. And also, to me, what was new and interesting, especially from Shoheep's case and from Lisa's case, was uh, the nuance of the big land, land grab debate. It's not simply global capitalism penetrating rural areas, but also people are doing things to each other, and it happens at mul mul multiple levels. So that I thought was interesting. I think um, the most interesting aspect from each of the paper is that each of the paper shows the richness and the politics of the local dynamics. And very interesting, local means not only like uh, at the provincial of district or village, but also at the household level, as shown by uh, Lisa uh, uh, Alano uh, right. paper. So, uh, and, and each of the paper, because each of the paper presents the richness and the, uh, a variety of political processes at the very local uh, level, each of the paper contributes to the growing literature of the land deals, which mostly now the literature like focus on the uh, like a big uh, topic, at the global or national uh, level. So uh, their contribution very very uh, significantly important.